Hello everyone, uh, my name's Ronwin Sayer and I'm going to be teaching a course here at Jamyang called Introduction to Reading Classical Tibetan. Um, I'm a member of the FPMT translation team and I translate texts from Sanskrit and Tibetan into English. Um, and I was asked if I could teach this class. So here in the Gompa we have uh, two main collections of texts uh, and one third smaller collection. So on the left hand side, which is called the Kanjur, we have all the texts that are attributed to Lord Buddha. Um, they were brought to Tibetan, translated from the Indian languages into Tibetan. And on the right hand side, we have all the commentaries written in India by all the various great scholars like Nagarjuna and so on, um, that again were taken to Tibetan and translated into Tibetan. That's called the Tenjur. And right at the bottom, uh, we have a, a collection of, we have the uh, collected works of Tsongkhapa, who of course is the founder of our tradition. So we have the words of Lord Buddha, the words of all the great Indian pandits, all the great Indian commentators, and we have the collection of works of Tsongkhapa, the founder of our tradition. I'll be teaching the course Introduction to Reading Classical Tibetan over 23 weeks, with two breaks, starting on the Tuesday the 8th of February it'll be every Tuesday after that except for the breaks and we're going to be using um, the same book I learned I used to learn Tibetan uh, when I was learning at evening classes it's called An Introduction to Classical Tibetan by Stephen Hodge uh, it's been revised since the version I learned uh, it's been revised in um, 2015 and it's the 2015 version that we're going to be using uh, we're going to start uh, learning the alphabet. That's a good place to start any language. And it can be a little daunting with Tibetan if you're not uh, familiar with any of the Indian languages or their alphabets, then it can be uh, initially look uh, rather daunting to learn to read Tibetan. But the alphabet's very straightforward once you understand how it fits together. So we're going to learn reading and we're going to spend a little time practicing writing the letters just because that's a good thing to be able to do um, and writing and copying particularly copying the holy texts is a way of generating great merit as Lama Zopa tells us quite frequently and so although not necessarily needing to write essays in Tibetan um, it's good if we can actually write the letters and copy the texts at the very least then I'll be going through the grammar of the language so that we can understand how the sentences and the paragraphs fit together and we'll use a variety of examples from different, uh, different holy texts so that um, the vocabulary that we come to understand will be very focused on the purpose of the, of the course which is to be able to read the text. I'm not expecting any of you to have uh, a deep grammatical knowledge um, one of the lessons we'll spend doing a little uh, recap on English grammar and then how that uh, grammar applies to the Tibetan uh, elements as well. So things like nouns and verbs and adjectives and tenses. Uh, we'll go through all of those as we need to. We won't expect a, a big deep understanding of, of grammar before you start the class. <laughs> 